Hello, my name is Petra. Me and my husband live in a Cedar Creek by Forest River and today's video is uh, about sharing some information and how to figure out what is the right coffee machine or espresso machine for your RV. So we really like a good cup of coffee in the morning and an espresso in the evening. So we had the hardest time to figure out what would fit in the, the compartment uh, that is in the Cedar Creek and um, it took us several months to find one um, that would, would fit and really fits our coffee needs as well. So we finally settled with the Preville. It's the Barista Touch and we really like it. So this machine, if you hear espresso machine, it does not just make espresso, just to clarify that. You can heat up milk, you can frost milk, you can make hot water if you're a tea drinker. Uh, cappuccinos, flat whites, um, americanos, uh, espressos, lattes. Uh, there's different ones you can make, so don't think this is just making espresso. It's making a different variety of coffee drinks, actually. So I wanted to share basically the information um, of this space and what would best fit in here. So I measured this earlier with my nifty little tape measurer and the width of this space is 21 inches. Uh, the height of this is 26 inches. The machine itself uh, that I measured, and that includes the little grinder dial on the side, is um, the width is 13 inches and the height is 16.5 and that actually includes uh, the hopper up here. So, and you can tell there's still space here. You still have some space right here and definitely have enough overhead space. So what you want to uh, keep uh, in mind when you are buying your coffee machine is where your water tank is. A lot of machines have their water tank in the back. A lot of the machines have their water tank on the side. So the Barista Touch has its water tank in the back actually. And um, just to show you, you still have room, so I do not pull out the water tank every day to fill it. I pull it out about once a week to clean it. Uh, I do use uh, the Brita filtered water and uh, the water tank has another filter in it. And it, you can easily fit this in here to fill the water compartment. So there is no issue here that uh, some with the other machines we experienced, you could not get the filter back here. And uh, if it was on the side, it was okay because you could do this. But if the water filter was in the back, that would not work. Um, one other thing that increased the height a little bit for us was uh, we actually exchanged the original hopper out, which was only able to hold one type of beans. So I drink decaffeinated and my husband drinks regular. So we swapped it out for this hopper and you basically put beans in just for one cup that you make at the time. So when I make me a cup, I could put my decaffeinated beans in here. And if it's my husband's coffee, he just puts his regular beans in here. So that uh, increased the height a little bit, but it was very minor. So um, just to keep that into consideration when you try to figure out what fits into your space that you have in your RV. Uh, we did find that most, like I said earlier, uh, when you just go by what is on the box, it's mostly not very accurate until you unpack it and actually set it here and you're like, okay, this is too much, this is two more inches than the, what the box said. So I wanted to just share this information and help everyone to make a right decision about their coffee machine and what is possible in a Cedar Creek to use as a coffee machine. I hope you enjoyed this video, gave you some useful information. Thanks for watching, bye.